30 years and counting, dozens of car lovers come together for not only a car show, but a good cause and a food drive that benefits the Spooner House in Shelton. So joining us this morning to talk all about it, Ernie Badas from Heavenly Donuts in Derby and Executive Director of the Spooner House, Susan I knew I was going to mess up your last name. Uh, uh, Agami. Agami from the Spooner House. Thank you both for coming today. It's nice to see both of you. Ernie, you get sure. more TV time than I do. It's great, to, <laughs> it's great to see you. How did you guys get hooked up here with, with doing this event? Well, all the credit goes to Ernie okay. and, and his family at Heavenly Donuts for, for coming up with this idea and bringing it to Spooner House. We always contributed on our own and mm -hmm. doing the car crews, we figured why not bring that in to uh, help us with it? And For sure. uh, actually, five years ago, our 25th anniversary, we started doing it as part of the cruise. At the beginning of the season, we started. We'll kick it off with a, a food drive. The car guys are great people, and mm -hmm. you know, try try to help. And everybody got together, and we did our, it our little donation. You know, and it, we started out about 1,200 pieces, and. Last year we had a super year. We had 2,500 pieces. Mm -hmm. This year we're shooting for 3,000. Go with the 30th. Well, a couple of zeros to that. I mean, I think the weather will end up being good for it. How yeah, did thanks the car for crews, the weather. <laughs> I got you. I'm <laughs> here to help. How did the car crews even start? I mean, you know, you, you a own a donut guy. shop. I'm okay. a car guy. I, I love cars. So when I I bought the donut shop, you know, a friend of mine uh, was there was only a couple of car cruises at the time. He wanted me to go with him. I had an old car. I said, well, you know, I don't have time to sleep. You know. <laughs> I'm gonna go to a car cruise, and then I started thinking I got a big enough parking lot. Maybe we could do it once. So my, my friend Pete, you know, says, uh, "Oh no, you can't do it once. You got to do it every week." I said, oh, "I don't know. I said, every week. I don't want to scare away customers. <laughs> you know, just, I needed every customer I could to pay pay the bills." Of course. But, uh, we tried it, and uh, the first day we we had 67 cars, and it was it was crazy. And I, I ended up parking in the back of the parking lot because I got there a little later because <laughs> I slept a little bit. So, <laughs> so you said that the goal. It's three thousand. How many, you know, how many meals can that feed people? It, it's hard to, to compare the number of items with the number of meals. But it's a lot. Um, it is a lot, and it, right now our shelves are very low. Mm -hmm. you know, holidays, a lot of people give. It's a very, um, you know, time of a lot of generosity, and of people give. But hunger persists beyond the holidays. And now all those wonderful donations that came in at the holidays have been depleted. And so our shelves are so low, and this is the perfect time for it. Um, we provide, between our food pantry and our homeless shelter, we provide about 150,000 mm. meals every year to people in need. So talk about some of the things that people can bring and should bring today. What are you looking for specifically? Well, of course, we can accept any kind of non-perishable items, but the things that we are in most need of on a regular basis are things that have protein. Okay. So peanut butter, uh, tuna, canned meats, yeah, um, some hearty of soups and stews, okay. and breakfast items, um, cereal, oatmeal, uh, granola, things like that. Um, because particularly with school holidays and this coming week and the week after mm -hmm. with kids out of school, students who had lunch and often breakfast in school are home and families are struggling to put those extra two meals on the table. So those type of kid-friendly foods for those meals would also be much appreciated. That's great. All right, uh, let's talk a little bit about the event. It's today, right, from noon to 5 p.m. Noon to 5. And, and you're doing a little deal because it's the 30th here. That's our 30th, so we, we figured we'd go a little special. we do a 30-cent donut with anybody who buys a drink. And I can tell I you one thing. Away. I've tried many of many of donuts around the world, <laughs> and, and these are some of the best ones here. You can see the info right on your screen. It's on Route 34 um, in Derby where uh, you just drive right down 34 in the, uh, I'm trying to think, 34 east, no west, and then it's right over there on the right yeah, side of the road. Yeah, just before you get into Derby, when you're coming out of New Haven, it's on 34. If you like cars, go. I promise you, it is a very, very good time. I will be there, Gil will be there, Teresa will be there, Kevin will be there. It's noon to 5 p.m. We'll see you out there. All right, more information is available on WTNH.com. Pull down to the on-air tab, Good Morning Connecticut weekend section. Thank you both for coming in, Susan. Thank you. Great to see thanks, you, Sam. Ernie. Thanks you, for everything you guys do for us. We're, we're happy to help out, especially when it's for a good cause. Staff, we'll send it right over to you.